too. Kind of made some last minute adjustments this morning. Just tied different things on. Uh, I think my dad's down the Carolina rig now. Um, I put a drop shot on last night. We're just gonna see what the fish want today. We're gonna see if they want it soft, slow, which we know they want it slow. But we gotta see just which which type of base. So we're getting ready this morning. So we gotta wait and get good. Good boy. All right, so we're about to get all the stuff in the boat. And I will get back to you when we're putting the boat in the water. All right, so we're getting ready to go down the lake. I think my dad went to go turn the keys in. Yeah, he's on his way. We're getting everything set up, ready to go. Let's make sure the horn works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> dad can get us out of here. Bye bye, Cabin 20. It was fun. Lucky feel like I forgot something. I know I didn't. All right, guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Did you put the plug in? No. All right, it's freezing. Nick's freezing like I told him you would. I told him to bring like 30 layers. Getting in the water right now. Just gotta put the plug in first. There's a dead fish out here, bro. If y'all can see it, but straight down there, the dead fish. I don't know what it is. It looks pretty good though. We, that's one thing we've noticed is there's a lot of dead fish. Here. We've noticed that there's a ton of just dead fish just everywhere. Most of them, I think, were sand bass, sand bass and striper, but. First action in the morning, we got a beaver over there. <laughs> oh, there he goes. No, it's a small mouth too. Drop shot. He's in your line, Dad. So I got another, I got a small mouth on the drop shot. I need, I need help because I, I have a small hook. He just put up Shad, look at that, look at that. He's just falling down. Drop shot, baby. Drop shot, baby. That's a spotted bass. Yeah. That's probably my biggest spotted bass ever. You got the GoPro on? I don't know. Look at that fish, baby. Number one, baby. Number one. Where is the plug? It's got my whole glove soaking wet. Okay, baby, let's go. You tied that on like at one in the morning. I told you, I had a funny feeling about it. Drop shot is right here. Good job. So should I take off the shake and put a drop on? Yeah. Either that or you can put a swim bait on the shaky head. I would try that. Try that. Drop shot. Dad's first catch. Of, Dad's first catch of Texoma. Somebody else is lying. Got another fish. 
Yep. Oh, it's a good one. He's so good too. No, he's small. Let's go, baby. Colin just caught another fish. Got him, dude. Look at that. Colin just caught another fish. Choke that. Choke that lure. Nick, I'm gonna need the assist with the pliers, bro. Falling back down. Yeah. God, let's go. About the same size as the other one. That's two, baby. That's two. Let's go. Alright, again, I caught that one. A little drop shot, the swim bait on it. I love this thing. Huh? Okay, we just saw a fish. I don't know. I saw a I think fish. that's him right there. See him dark? Huh? Look like a small mouth. fish that we caught this morning we're gonna weigh them real quick take a quick picture see how much weight we got Get her down, man. see the fish in there oh let's weigh the big one first I'm gonna take my glasses off I see I don't even know which one's the big one they can both have it's the one that's There's both. Nice spotted bass. Nice Kentucky. Which one? They're both pretty. This one's the size. Nice fish. Three pounds? Three oh six. Three oh six. That's my that's my personal best uh spotted bass. Both have like big bellies. I know. Yes, uh, we need those next week. Or when are we going? Three weeks from now? 
Uh-huh. We need that small mouth I caught yesterday, and we need these. Two other ones. Dang. Let me see. Six eighty one. Six eighty one. That's how much we had last time, right? Our PK. Yeah, yeah six eighty one. Had Fair. one hog and like one. Here. So you gonna go back this way? So it's bouncing around six eighty. That's just, that's a pretty good sack for two fish. I want I gotta take a picture. So it was, it wasn't a bad day. We caught more fish than we did yesterday, and we definitely caught them way earlier. I think I caught those fish in about a 45-minute span, maybe 30 minutes. So now we're gonna head back to the, to the ramp. We're gonna put up, get ready to go home. It was fun. Did you have fun, Nick? Yeah. Nick, Nick will tear him up next time. I know he will. It's gonna take some time. It was slow. It was slow for all of us. We only caught three fish in two days, which they were all you. I know that. I got lucky. I got blessed this one. I beat my dad's. That's what he gets for whooping me at Squaw Creek. So we're gonna get back to the uh, to the boat ramp, and I'll see y'all there in a second. fun here at the lighthouse resort shout out to them if y'all ever want to come stay on lake texoma hook uh hit them up it was fun fishing was tough but we we found, we think we have an idea of what we're going to do for the tournament which is why we came here they really i mean we came here to catch fish but we came here to get an idea of some spots and basically just learn this lake so i think we found that we didn't catch quantity but because we caught the quality nick did you have fun yeah yeah even though you didn't catch nothing? Yeah. You learned some stuff? Yeah. All right. Well, this video is not over yet. We're gonna, I'll vlog the series going home. I think we're gonna stop and get some, some food. But I hope y'all enjoyed the fishing portion of this little series. And I will get back to y'all here in a minute. All right, so we got, we went to Sonic, got some, got some burgers, got some onion ring with cheese. That's mine. What are you doing? <laughs> so, I wait. There's onion rings in here too. Oh wow! Yeah, we all got onion rings. All right. I don't know which is which. I know these are mine because mine's in a toaster. I got no meat. All right. So, I'm gonna eat this real quick. All right. This is no one. That's yours. Yeah. All right. I'll get back to y'all when we are farther down on the road.
We're dropping Nick off now. Gonna get all the stuff. Did you have fun, Nick? Yeah, I had fun. Thank you. Take him. Yeah, I, uh, he said thank you, Dad. Oh, you're welcome. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave his channel down in the description. Y'all can go and follow him. He's gonna have some footage too from this trip. He makes some good uh, B-roll with the <laughs> with the music, so you have to go check that out. But we're basically, dropping him off. Gonna get all the stuff ready to go inside. Tell him uh, goodbye, and then I will catch back with y'all when we get back to the house. All right, what's going on, everybody? Just concluded the Tex Oma trip. It was a good one. It it was really fun. Even though we didn't catch a ton of fish, we got a good idea of what we have to do for our tournament coming in February. We uh, we found a lot of spots that we can fish. We we found a lot of different lures. I, I started throwing a, that drop shot, and I've never thrown that before in my life. I have, but like, I thrown about like three times in my entire life and just didn't like it. For some reason last night, I just had a feeling just to tie it on. I, don't, I have no idea why, I just, I don't know. I just had an instinct to. And uh, I did real good. I caught two uh, spotted bass. It, it was actually my biggest spotted bass I think I've ever caught, and that thing was huge, or I know I've ever caught. And, and I caught my biggest smallmouth I ever caught in, which was, that was crazy. Those fish fight so different than just the normal largemouth. But like I said before, I'm not posting these videos until around the middle of February. I'll probably post it the night before the tournament, which doesn't include y'all because y'all are going to watch it then. But this is actually January 27th is today. January 27th is today. And uh, so y'all see that in a few weeks. But I'll actually, we have a tournament the 10th for the club that me and my dad are in that uh, is at Lake Granberry, which is, we're probably gonna flip a lot. That lake is, uh, it's on the river, the Bronzes River. And uh, we know a few spots. We went and fished it one time last year. And we, d we actually caught quite a few. I think we caught probably, mm, probably 12 a piece maybe. But we also went when it was August. We did not go when it was 30 degrees at night and 6 degrees during the day. So we don't know how the, the water temp probably will be about like it was at Texoma. Maybe a little bit warmer just because Texoma is a little north of us. So we'll see. Hopefully we can get a lot of warm nights by then. When I mean warm, like 50 and above, just so we can warm that water up. Which the bite up when it's 50 degrees and above is usually really good. So... Hopefully we do really good on that tournament. With that tournament footage, will probably come out before the Texoma footage. I'm not sure yet, but we will. It just depends on everything because I don't. I haven't decided if I want to post them all back to back or wait and post them. So like maybe like three a week. I don't know. We'll see. Once I get on a regular schedule, we'll figure everything out. But also, as y'all can notice, I have a mic on. My mic came in that I did not have this weekend, which sucks, but it's okay. The, I'm sure the, today the wind was not that bad. Yesterday, the wind was, it was howling a little bit, but uh, we had a great time. It was so much fun. Even though Nick and my dad didn't catch any fish, I know Nick learned a lot. He's, he's gonna have a good idea of what to throw when we have our tournament. And I feel, I'm feeling pretty good. We, did, we, caught, we didn't catch a lot of fish, but we definitely, caught some good ones and uh another thing i was aware there's a lot of dead fish there was just dead fish just all over the lake you could see it. the lake was really clear so you could see down probably uh, six or seven feet and you there's dead fish everywhere but we also saw a lot of fish up shallow which was really really weird for 45 degree water temp so i hope y'all enjoyed this series of lake texoma i had a great time filming it. I know Nick had fun, even though he didn't catch it. I know he had fun. Um, it was just really fun. And again, if y'all want to go to Lake Texoma, stay at the Lighthouse Resort. It's basically like cabins. It's it's a blast. Y'all have a great time, I promise. I really appreciate y'all for watching. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will catch y'all in the next episode, which the next episode will be the tournament day footage so y'all will see how we did and if we found fish <laughs>
hopefully um, the fish are biting. We will see. So I will get to y'all next time. Stay tuned for the tournament footage. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.